God Did Both, written and narrated by Sister Michelle Watson. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. John 15, 13. As a young kid, I remember thinking, I don't think I could ever die for something. I admired the great heroes of the past who had died to save others, but I knew I didn't have it in me. Fast forward a few years to when I was a young adult, and I remember feeling conflicted. I can imagine myself dying for someone or something, but then I'd be dead and I'd be useless. So what good would it do? Now, as an adult, I know exactly what I'd die for. As a mother, I know with 100% certainty that I would exchange my life for the life of one of my kids. I'd do it in a heartbeat. I wouldn't need to think it over. I wouldn't regret it. Ah, how far I've come. But that doesn't mean I've stopped grappling with the big what ifs. At this point in my spiritual maturity, there's a part of me that says, it's easy to sacrifice myself. But to sacrifice my child? I don't know if I could do that. Would you? Could you do what Abraham did that day when he bound Isaac's hand and feet and unsheathed his knife? This is an entirely different dimension to faith, wouldn't you say? Sacrificing my life would be terrible, but sacrificing my child's life would be unbearable. And one day it hit me. God did both. He sacrificed himself and he sacrificed his son too. He knows firsthand what both are like. He was willing to do both of those scary, painful, unbearable acts to redeem me and you. I marvel at his love. How much does he value us? How unworthy are we of this great gift? Part of me grieves for the pain and suffering that Jesus endured. To stop myself from getting too sad, I try to remind myself of what happened after God did both on the third day after, to be exact. A new day. Morning breaks the eastern sky, and the light casts out the darkness. A new life. Eternal life for those who are covered by the blood of Christ. A new covenant. A law of love and hope reigns on earth. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. The night doesn't go on forever. Death doesn't get the last word. Temporary sorrow is swallowed up in eternal joy. The gospel is worth dying for and living for. Thank God that he showed us how to do both.